last week's episode, we saw how some animals use camouflage to survive. We saw how some animals use disguise to hunt, while others use disguise to avoid being hunted. And some use disguise for both. Now that you know this great survival tool, let's see if you can spot some hidden creatures. I mean, take a look. Can you find the insect on this branch? No! The branch is the insect. Get away. Let's count them. One. Oh, good morning to you. Two. That's a hello from me. Three. Nice to meet you. Four. Hey, how you doing? These creatures are so well camouflaged that they often remain unseen. And I have to tell you, you can't call me Twiggy. <laughs> Twiggy, you like that? Twiggy. Do you get it? <laughs> Good grief. Are these rocks moving? Did he just call me a rock? The they rocks are actually rock? three sea slugs. I heard them. I heard what they said. One. They How think you you're a rock. You're not you number, number one. Where are you one. creeping off to? I'll be creeping along rocks and seaweed using my two tentacles to aid navigation. Oh, really? Creep. Can you spot anything interesting on the branch? Over here. I uh, say, <laughs> you're looking quite the wrong place. Over here. A bit more to the left. Go, go on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes. yes. Here we find the cicada. That's me. The cicada may be very good at hiding. I certainly am. But it's one of the loudest bugs in the world. Bug? Who are you calling a bug? I'll come and bug you. I'll land on your head and bug your head. And bug stonefish your alert! Where is that stonefish? Keep your eyes peeled for one of the deadliest fish in the world. Ah! Yes, I just hate being stood on, you see? So you stand on me, my poison spines will kill you, yeah. Now that you've spotted some hidden creatures, let's look at those that change colour in different ways. Even though it cannot see colour, the octopus is able to change its own body colour and pattern to match a reef or sea floor. You see, it's kind of second nature with me. I go down here, settle in. Can you see me? No way. Where did he go? I'm not comfy. I think I'll move over here. Hang on. Oh, there he is. I can see him now. Oh, that's much better. Can you see me now? He's gone again. I can't gone see again. him. That's because I am an octopus. There he goes. Again. Oh, he's so and I gotta move over here now. It does this by <laughs> using specialized skin cells, which change its appearance in a split second. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me change. Ooh, there I go. Landing rock. If you missed it, here it is again. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me change. Ooh, there I go. The cuttlefish is related to the octopus and changes colour in a similar way. I am the cuttlefish. That is right. An octopus has eight tentacles. Eight tentacles. But this cuttlefish has ten. I have ten tentacles. See the eight short tentacles? They have suckers at the tips, while the two longer tentacles can stretch far out to catch prey. I may be only really small, but I have ten tentacles and the octopus only has eight. So that makes me really great. Don't you like them? Look at my fringe, caused by those eight tentacles. Looks really cool, huh? Then I've got the other two tentacles to reach out and pull you in, baby. Come. Frank is one of the most colourful sea creatures. And we're so colourful, so beautifully colourful, so amazingly It's colorful. able to take on the colours of the coral on which it feeds. 
Are you eating me? I most certainly am. And look, I'm a beautiful blue and yellow. That's to match you while I'm feeding off you. Now, don't you feel ashamed of being a bit critical there? When it moves to a new coral outcrop, it will change color again. And now I'm in black and red. It is amazing. No wonder it is sometimes called the butterfly of the sea. So amazingly colorful. And finally, the famous chameleon. Cells under its skin allow the chameleon to change color hot and sand. reflect light. Hot sand. Ah, wow, hot sand. Even though it can be used for camouflage, chameleon's color change is also a means of communicating mood. Well, I'm feeling rather mellow myself. I'm not feeling too good. Chameleons look comical when they walk because they use diagonally opposite limbs. The sand is hot, my man. And if you were going to walk around here, you'd look comical too, son. Hot sand. Hot sand. Now you'll be able to spot different creatures and understand how and why others change colour. Watch out for the next series on Animal Record Breakers.